Good morning, chill ladies. My name is Jack Septic and welcome back to Life is Strange. This is the before the storm uh, season. This is, everyone thinks that this is Life is Strange 2. It's not Life is Strange 2, it's a prequel. So this takes place before Max and Chloe's adventure in the other season of it that I played. Um, I think season 2 is still actually going to be a thing that's coming. And sorry that I'm late to play this uh, by a few days. This game came out the day I flew out to Seattle for PAX. And I really wanted to get it before it, before that, I wanted it to be part of the PAX prep, but I, I got the code at like midnight that night, so I, I couldn't play it and I couldn't record it and couldn't get it up for when I was gone. So that's why it's been a small bit of a delay, so apologies on that front, but we're here! We're finally here! Um, I think you control Chloe in this game, and I think it's the story between Chloe and Rachel Amber? Was that her name? Might be wrong. Uh, so I'm excited to see what this is going to be like. I don't think there's any time travel powers in this one, which is a little weird because that was one of the cooler elements of the first season. So I'm curious to see if it's actually going to be, if it's still going to be good in that regard. If it's still going to have the heart and the soul and the story, but who knows? Let's get in and play. Episode one, Awake. There's only three episodes in this as well, by the way. I think there's like a special bonus fourth episode that might come out with Max. Not sure. Episode one, Awake. Stay woke, everybody! And I think this... I think Chloe and Rachel... Story-based game, feature player choice, same as always. I think they might have been more than just friends. It seemed like there was more to it that when you were finding out stuff about Rachel, so I'm not sure. Oh, hella yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> it says leet on it, really? <laughs> well, that's irresponsible! Ah, oh, fucking course. <laughs> I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes. Yeah. Mom would kill me if she knew I was out here. This is, it's a different voice actress for her, Chloe as well, which makes me sad because Ashley Birch did such a good job in the first season. Ah, oh, that's sad. I wanted to be the same character, same voice. I mean. Fence, thank you. <laughs> yeah, did you see the train had 1337 on it, which is leet. No trespassing? No way. Oh, uh, it's so bad. Fuck yeah! <laughs> oh, this is so lame. Oh, holy shit. This place is awesome. It's it's leaving a good if way I'm though. I'm gonna get inside. <laughs> I have to get through that door. Cause the, the Life is Strange has always been kind of cheesy with the teen culture, like the ah, oh, this is hella cool kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, I miss this. That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. Who knows? Yo, what's up, dudes? Those guys need to get a room. <laughs> hey! You I'm there! Not. Slap! Damn. Mind your own business. I understand. I understand, really. And, and, and it won't ever happen again. I swear. You can trust me. I promise. I really get it now. I, I do. Do you? <laughs> because trust with me is earned in actions. No. The dude has edge written on his hand in a tattoo. If Ooh. I owed somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. Isn't that like a thing that you owe? Oh god. By the way, it's been a really long time since I played Life is Strange Season 1. So, I'm, I'm gonna miss a lot of stuff. I'm gonna miss like character names and I'm gonna miss some tiny little 
details that harken back to the first season, so apologies on that. Um, but doesn't she owe the, the drug guy money after a while? Wait, doesn't he have an RV? Is this his? This RV's just begging for a little street art. But if I do it here, someone will see me. You also need spray paint. Guess fire safety isn't exactly high on the agenda here. Nah, why would it be? Oh, sit and ponder at the bonfire. Maybe you re refresh your Estes flasks. Mom would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. Oh. This place is sketchy as hell. An old abandoned building in the middle of nowhere, miles from home. <laughs> home. Right. Now I remember why I'm here. Any place is better than home. But that's where the heart is. Okay, I think we've I think we've pondered all the life that we can ponder. This place has collected a lot of junk over the years. Yeah, and the dude in the RV had a dog. That I accidentally got killed, I think. I'd join a motorcycle gang. If I had any friends. <laughs> Aww. Okay, let's see what let's see what Bouncer is gonna say to us. Sick tats! Help you miss. You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. It's not a bad fake, kid, but you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scrap. Is it really that hard to make? Should I go back and stand up to him? Or can something around here help me convince him? Oh, he's pretty car. big. Guess it's been years since anyone's actually worked here. Wonder is it that hard to actually make fake IDs? Although, there must be a reason. Um, they probably have like a thing. Because I don't know. I don't know American IDs. I've never sat and scrutinized one and been like, this is a fake. I don't know if they have like a little barcode -y holographic thingy. I didn't want to do that. Keep walking, kid. Okay. Blood sport. Taste. Iron punk. I'm missing this show. Okay. There must be something back here that can help. Haha! -ha! A door. I don't need to go this in. Man shreds so hard. I gotta get in there. I gotta get in there and listen to some metal. <laughs> can I look in? Second door inside. So close and yet so far. Just open the fucking thing. You can do it. I believe in you. You're strong. Oh ho! Some graffiti. Now what to draw? Oh, I thought you'd have a thing. Not a meth lab, free candy. Not a meth lab, Breaking Bad reference. Oh, the sound of markers rubbing on things like that. Oh, makes me want to grind Definitely my teeth. Absolutely not a meth lab. Nice. Some of my finest work. Wait, where the hell do I go? I don't see anything else. I wonder if I can talk to the dudes and let them let me in. Nope. If I owed somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I find like a spare ticket or a spare ID or something around here that can help? Can I stop getting facial hairs in my mouth? There's hardly anything back this way, is there? No. What do I do? Everything else just says like look at it. Maybe I could talk to him. God, again? What do you want, kid? Let me inside now, the mill your bike. Let's see. You've started a back talk challenge. Ooh, teenage angst, ahoy! I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. 
Let's fucking do this. In backtalk, you use arguments and also teleport your face, apparently. And insults to get someone to do what you want. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? No! Okay, to succeed, pay attention to what your opponent says. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> this is what it's like to have arguments with people. You're like, okay, they said that. Okay. Clever retort, go. Do me a solid, no bedtime. I don't sleep. It's for the week. Yes! <laughs> Real cute. But I sleep is for the week! Real cute, but I still don't know you. Okay, again, listen to your opponent's words. I got it, dude. Cute is relative. I don't do cute. I only do rock hard balls to the wall. Metal! Look at my face. Do I look cute? Or do I look like I'm going to kick your ass? <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. This isn't a playground. He didn't say anything about a playground. Sometimes the right choices are more difficult to pick out. Here, playground is a good response to kid. Ah, that's good. Maybe I am a kid, because this place looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. Don't need protected. I got some balls to the wall, puncheroos. Ah. Uh. Girls? Girls kick ass, you idiot. I can take care of myself. My boss will kill me if I let you in. Uh, bosses suck! Bosses suck. Screw the man and fuck the rules, dude. You're, you're not accepting no for an answer, are you? Nah! <laughs> and you really think you can take me? Yep. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're alright, kid. Go on in. This is so cringy! Oh, my face is... It's, it's like I sucked a lemon before I recorded this video. My face is gonna implode on itself. Don't care if you had a knife or a gun. Girls kick ass and I roll and bosses suck. <laughs> Then again, she is supposed to be a teenager, so. This is intense. <laughs> oh, shit. Jesus. Delia, come. You dog. Are you the guy who owns the RV? Screen. Don't touch my soul with dirty hands. <laughs> Why? It's so cringy. Ugh. This is life a stranger, try not to cringe challenge. Just follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. Yeah. But that, that's the thing about the Life of Strange games. They were always kind of self-aware about how cringy they were. Sober up, girl. You're missing the show. I don't think she gives a fuck. Damon Merrick again? Who is this guy? Darkness fills my soul! Hard on fire! Yeah, no shit. This car could slide down any minute. Okay. <laughs> Looks like that parking brake is the only thing keeping that car from rolling down the ramp. No, 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 no. Am I supposed to do something with it? Hey! 20 bucks, baby. 20 bucks? That's robbery. And don't call me baby. Fine, 20 bucks, thief. <laughs> Better. That guy's a dick. If I want a shirt, I'm going to need to get creative. Are we gonna roll this car no, down no, the hill? No, no. If you don't have 20 bucks, beat it. Still a dick. He's not really being a dick. No, 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 no. He's selling shirts, you and you need to pay for them. And shirts at like shows are always higher because that's how bands actually make their money. Parking brake. Here we go. Crimes. Sorry, dude. Maybe you shouldn't overcharge. Stick it to the man, Chloe. Shit. No, 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 no. Come on. 
I didn't do it. I swear. Thanks Dude. for playing, Dick. Okay. I, I want a shirt now. Oh, yeah. Sweet, sweet victory. That's What's... like 200 bucks. Chloe, we're not stealing. Not worth it. These guys might burn me at the stake. Yeah, exactly. Even though I fight guys. If you had a knife, if you were a gun, I stick it to the man. Guys are dicks. I crash cars and I steal shirts. Society can't control me. Hey, meth. Nothing sadder than a neglected bong. Then embrace it. Skeevy guys. Ooh, a knife. Sweet knife. Just like the one my mom refused to get me for my birthday. <laughs> Take it! Knives are good! Knives are fun! You go ahead and stab the bouncer with it and then show him what do. Sketch central. Okay, good chat to you guys. Fuck yeah, it's a beer! Hell to the Yeezy! Drink more, feel less. Yes, please. Talk to yourself and drink some beer. Aw, oh, dude, look how chill this girl is. How can you just chill when Firewalk is tearing it up in the next room? <laughs> oh, Frank, that's the dude. Um, I say as I'm taking my time looking around the place. No, thanks. I tried to avoid hepatitis, but I can't. Smart call. Let's talk to Frank. He's the dude you end up owing money to in the other season, and he owns the RV with the dog. Yo, Frank. Hey. What? I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at that get up. <laughs> Studs. You're trying too hard. What are you even doing here? I'm here to see Firewalk, man. They rock. How'd you even hear about this little shindig? Ha! The internet. How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. How about some weed, dude? So, you come here a lot, or...? Yeah. Right. It's cool. I'm really glad you approve. It's cool, man! You, you come here often? I drink more, forget my feelings. <laughs> okay, so, you holding? I could definitely use something to take the edge off. Of course. As soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. Shit. Do I really owe him that much? Unless I find some quick cash around here, I can kiss my high goodbye. Uh, spot me some? I want to get fucked up! How about you spot me some? You know I'm good for it. <laughs> no way. I learned my lesson last time. Money first. Dang. Never mind, Ben. Uh, suit yourself. Now I don't get to get my super high on. I wanted to take the super weed and get super off my face. Look at the stairs. Half those stairs are rotted through. Looks dicey. Sure does. I love all the graffiti around the place as well. It says like, fuck power. Hard fuck core. <laughs> so silly. I love it. Okay, let's look at a deer head. Don't you judge me, spooky deer head. I'm here for the band. Yeah, look, which, by the way, let's go listen. Oh, fuck, yes. Into the war zone! Ow! Uh, fuck. Uh-oh. Hey. You okay? I'm fine. Relax. You bumped into me, remember? Yep. My bad, dude. You don't know who I am, do you? Nope. Don't care, either. Hey, let me know how that works out for you, bitch. Hey! All right. Mosh pit is a no-go. Fine. 
Maybe I can get a better view of the action from up above. Here we go. Go upstairs. Watch out for the dice, dice. Don't break them. Yeah, light on your feet. Oh, I love this song! Yeah! Fuck yeah! Woo! Is this where I'm going to reach, meet Rachel? Reet Rachel? I'm just going to sit here and rock out all day. Yeah! Kill it, dude! All right, can I can I leave now? Oh shit! <laughs> Beach. Uh, um, I have a beer. I could give him that. It's in my inventory. Beach. Rachel? Choose carefully. This action will have consequences. Oh, I do love to attack. I think me and the other girl can take him. Or should I run and be safe? You might come back to bite me in the ass. Uh, attack! Ah! Ow. Rachel? It is Rachel! Come on! Let me get the fuck out of Dodge! Hurry up! I'm caught in the traps. I'm used to guns. Later, Frank! is so bad. Fat France. I remember this bedroom. <laughs> I have a, a multicolored finger going like this. Beautiful. Square Enix presents Life Art of Sturge. There she is, lying on that bed we all know. Okay, let's get up and start the day. Feeling nice and cannabis fresh. Sometimes all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. Isn't that kind of what you do all the time? Daily rituals are important, even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. 
Hey, it's Max! Max Caulfield, from the first game! Max, the loser. Yeah, that's right, I called you a loser. Wanna know why? Because you weren't at Firewalk last night. Even Frank was there. He's my dealer. Or mom, if you're reading this, he's my dealer and you shouldn't be reading this. It was maybe the greatest night of my life. I got punched in the face, almost stabbed with a bottle, broke a dude's car and stole his shirt. I hiked at this old mill using the train tracks and verbally abused this dumb bouncer until he let me inside. Firewalk was the shit. It was a pretty good game. Not the best game ever, but it was pretty good. Who knew ragers like that went down in little old Arcadia Bay? Fuck Seattle! Hey, I was just there. Yesterday. <laughs> Plus, I have a sweet ass. Black eye for a souvenir. Uh, but there was these two asshole skeevy guys whose manhood I wrecked. Okay. Oh yeah, I got rescued by the most popular girl at school. How was your night, loser? Firework plus Chloe is greater than Max. And that's hard science. That's just math. Hey Max. Hey Dad. I Another day in paradise. Right? Because Max left and her dad died in a car crash. Chloe, wakey wakey, eggs and bacon. I would love some eggs and bacon right now. Seeing Firewalk live. The skeevy assholes. That girl. That Is that girl. really Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber, I was right. Cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. Dude, is that Daenerys Targaryen? Man, her dragons look different. No more unicorns, no more princesses, and no more fucking rainbows. Yeah. It's just darkness in my soul. Am I at heart on fire? Fail me now. Ah, uh, 100% of the shots. Genius is. Genius is. I want to see how you end this. There's that sound of markers again. It's not too bad on that. Jobs. Terrible news, my fellow Oregonians. Our very own Pacific Steed's famous crab is shutting its doors. Might have something to do with all the health and safety violations they've suffered. God damn it, they're closing the doors. Genius is 1% inspiration, 99% LSD. My motto is genius is 1% inspiration. 120% masturbation. <laughs> Bask, ye mortals, in the light of the glowy bear. <sighs> oh, I'm trying. I'm really trying. Dad was so proud of me for winning that stupid science fair. It's because your dad is a cutie. That really was Rachel Amber. And she saved my life. How was last night even real? Yeah, can't you tell by the no faces? Rachel Amber should be the last one. Doesn't look like the girl I saw last night. The girl I saw last night was blonde! Then again, people can't dye their hair. Okay, you shut up. <sighs> we have the periodic table and I have an option to improve. So, I'm about to improve upon science right now. How am I improving this? Better living through chemistry. Did I really just put marijuana 420 on it? Oh boy, we are in for a fucking ride with this game. <laughs> Why can't you be more positive? Oh. You know, the unknown element in the periodic table. Marijuana! Shark babies eat their siblings in the womb. Maybe that's why I'm an only child. Is it true? That's pretty metal! I mean, that's pretty metal! Max made me this mix CD years ago. Pirate power. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. Clever! That one I'll give to you, that's a good joke. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Firewalk last night. I saved all of these. You have to delete that photo of me dancing. Only you could get me to loosen up like that. Happy two-month-versary, Elliot. 
That's cute. Okay, I need to change clothes. What am I doing? <gasps> Skateboard! I used to love skateboarding. It's the only mode of transportation that doubles as a middle finger to authority. <laughs> yep. I don't know, a big giant helicopter shaped like a middle finger would do the same. Get dressed. I need my eggs and bacon. Oh, dude! Fire butterfly skeleton! Bonus outfits! A raven! Bonus outfits or firewalk? I think the bonus outfits are stuff that you get with the game. Classic Chloe pre order. Okay. Hot Dog Man Deluxe, Illuminati Deluxe, Punk Doe Deluxe. I kind of want Classic Chloe. Can I change them back? Can I just actually see what they all look like? Can I play dress up? There we go. That's the Chloe I know and love, except you have normal hair, not blue hair. Hmm. Should I keep her like that or change her again? I keep her like that. Oh wait, shit, I clicked change. Fuck! Okay, let's go with the raven. I don't want to have the exact same Chloe. You know, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, that outfit sucks. Well, classic Chloe it is. I kind of want to try some of the other ones. Sorry, now I'm just playing dress up. Punk doll! As in like, punk deer. Doe a deer. A female. That's cute. Look at my little shorts. Adorable. That's how we're going out today. Oh yeah. Righty. Yeah, I really should get going. Yup. Shit. Where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone. With moms. How are you gonna hide the black eye face? I'm not even drunk, I only have one beer. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Come on, leave your mom alone. She's a nice lady. Now call your phone. 1-800-HELLA. Oh, my shirt says Jane Doe. That's clever. Okay. I got it. Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. I got it! There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. One from mom. <laughs> oh, I have a message from Elliot. Ooh, Max. Can I go to the top of this? Oh, God. So sorry I've been bad about emailing. Texting is better for me anyway. Yo, it's Max. How's it going? You there? Sorry again, I've been really busy. You'd love Seattle more in a bit. Cool. Maybe some hitchhiking in my future. Hey, I think I'm reading these backwards. No. So sorry, maybe we should set up a time to call. No worries, I'll check my dance card. 7 p.m. in Arcadia Bay, what is it? 2019 in Seattle? I know, right? Maybe this weekend. Sure, anytime, let me know. Yo, Queen of the Crickets, what's the latest? Max. She not talking. Let's talk to Frank. Your shit's here! Hell yeah! But tapped out. Sorry. Your loss. Hey, you can hold it for me. Can you hold it for me for a day? Can I? I'm your favorite customer. Are you? Frank, you holding? You still- Oh, you gonna have me whacked? Yes, please joke about that over text. Um, you deal drugs on this phone. Anyway, come on, it's 420. It sure is. I'll meet you if you have the cash. Arr, rain check. Oh, here's my sweetums. My tasty, hunkalicious Elliot. Spanish test sucked! 
Lucky if I pass. Aw, lo siento. No, I think I did okay. Cool. What are you up to? I don't know what lo siento means. I don't know. Ooh, look at this punk rock down here. Um, not much. Got shit to do later. Okay, you finished the chem homework? Nope. Dude, that's the third time. I already know everything. Will you be joining us for supper? No thanks. Will you be coming home at some point tonight? Chloe, will you be home by curfew? There will be consequences. Oh. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ya yeah, yeet. I think I saw mom's purse in her room. That would make sense. Mom purse? No, not that one. Ah, mom. Bad enough that David comes here for dinner. Hey, now, come on. Your mom is just being protective with her little Davy Dave. I hate that she hides all our old pictures of dad. What's the matter, mom? You don't want dad to see your new boyfriend? You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. I always like the music in these games. It's very calm, quiet, and somber. It really fits the mood of the, the type of game that it is. Alright, let's take this purse and go on down and give it to mom. Oh gosh, mom. Why don't I just give you my blood while I'm at yeah. it? That really makes me want to hurry. Coming, mom. Dad. Cool. We did it. We solved the puzzle. We solved the puzzle of where the missing phone. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. You might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Or, look at everything. Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. Hi, Mom! Go put my purse on the table before you forget. She didn't move her mouth. She's a fucking doll. Aw, oh, come on, Mom! I like bacon, but I don't like vomit for dinner. Breakfast. That's it's words. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's... Just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner type food. Yeah, I want some duck confit. Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. Well, you know, food is food. How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? <laughs> Swear chair, just turn around and be like, hey mom! Fuck! There's ten. <laughs> Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. It's a weird way of remembering your dead dad. Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Job fair. Real recruiters want to meet you. Wednesday, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, David was kind of an asshole in the first season. We're already supporting one. Thanks. From when Max and I spilled Mom's wine. I think the only reason Mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. <laughs> it's my job to water these plants, but it was Dad's job to remind me. So, nobody's fault, really. Family pick used to hang here. I... Wow. I can't actually remember which one. That's sad. <laughs> Hard to believe I was an eighth grade science athlete. Did I peak in middle school? Most of us do, Chloe. Most of us do. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> and never looked back? That's a cute picture. 
Captain Chloe Bluebeard, Scourge of Arcadia, and her first mate, Long Max Silver. Yarrr! All right. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what mom wants before she strokes out. She didn't ask for anything. She just said to put the thing on the table and I'm coming back. Mom! Hey, mom. You wanted to talk? Hey, mom! Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? That's a good point. Let's talk about pot roast. I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? Come on, Chloe. Be a little understanding. I know David's a bit of a dick. But he might be nice in this season. I don't know yet. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. <laughs> you can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. I, I got away with swearing. <laughs> ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you going to eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Hmm. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 and don't know what you need. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. There's times when she says stuff that makes it sound like she's the old voice actress. David was a good man. Is that like David was a good man, but he's not anymore? I'm curious. Dad was a good man. That's oh, it said not dad fair. was a good man. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. Like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice. You will be respectful. 
and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Because your mom's had a very hard time, and she works super hard for you, Chloe. I think I'm gonna go with the B understanding. I don't want to keep fighting and arguing because it's going nowhere, and Chloe's too stubborn. Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Yeah. <laughs> Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. Really? Why have you told you to take off your pants and dance on the kitchen table while the neighborhood watches? That'd be pretty embarrassing. Wait, where the fuck were the keys? Did she just say where the keys were and I didn't pay attention? Keys. 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 Where are the keys? Purse? Purse? Look. Keys. Oh, my bad. Ah, uh, in the ashtray, yeah. Here they are. It did say where they were. <laughs> They're keys, Let's Chloe. Let's get to David so he can drive away. This we'll defend. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I'd better get going. Hi, right, bye, Mom. Ooh. I got a message from Steph. Hey, is this Chloe? This is Steph Gingrich. Hey, I have your DVD. You can get it before school. Thanks. Just regular old Miss Popular over here. Morning, David. How's it going there, buddy? What a piece of crap. The car, too. Ha! <laughs> got him. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. <laughs> Repeatedly. <laughs> Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I'd gotten to my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electrode insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites. Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. Okay. Yeah, I was going to give him the what benefit of the doubt. Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench. You deaf or just lazy? You said you needed your socket wrench. That's the 5 eighths inch. I need the 13 16 inch extension. Which is in the set, which is in the garage, like I said. Unbelievable. Sorry, man. You said something about socket wrenches. I saw a socket wrench and I was like, here you go, new dad. Toolbox. Is David inside it? Ha. What's David doing? Leaving stuff in our garage anyway. Does he think he's moving in or something?
She has something written on her hand. I saw it at the party as well, and I don't know what it says. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. Oh, he'd be nice and stop talking about murder. Do these have chapters on hotwiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. I don't know. Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. Jesus, dude, come on. <laughs> yeah. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. Dad's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? Aha! Chloe goes around with stuff like that and the- or Max goes around with that in the other uh -oh. season. Mom's been cleaning again. This was the photo Mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. <laughs> Is this mustache on the wall? <laughs> David's lawnmower. Maybe mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? Yeah! Did you ever think about that, David? You ever think maybe we like a fucking jungle out front? Here. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. You don't get along very well, do you? I think you guys are swell. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Pop. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. Oh, that's a fist bump? I thought he was gonna drop something. Let, let's fist bump! I never leave someone hanging! Fine. Whatever. <laughs> so weird. Oh, why? Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> that's true. I've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> that tiny toolbox, my toolbox is at least twice as big as that one. Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk, please don't want to talk, please. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Um, shut this down. I kind of want to just play the little mini game thing again. So let's do that. Respect him. I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Oh, Language. Shit. Ah, uh, fuck. Here, let me put that in a language you'll understand. Foxtrot. Uniform. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? You got a pretty mouth! Let me dumb it down for you. I mean, sorry. What has fewer syllables than dumb? <laughs> Watch your... I can crap bigger than you, got it? Sure, you're the crap master! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. You... Your mother... You're breaking her heart. Aww. Leave mom out of this. This is about you and me and you being an asshole. I was in the army. You will respect me. I don't remember enlisting, so don't treat me like your newest recruit. I did it. If you were a man, I. It's I'd... cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you either. Ooh. Ooh. Don't know why I bother.
Ooh, that was a good one. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to pass out here now for 20 minutes. Take me to school, new dad. Country music. Dad! Dad loved this song. I just called to tell you that I miss you. That's cute. What a beautiful day. Hey, Sucker Wrench is back. This... This isn't right. That's David in the picture. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. If Mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Dad, turn it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah! Love me some... Country! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whew. Jeez. Also, why is there Illuminati symbols everywhere? May I ask? The hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. All right, sayonara. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello. I was actually saying. I see everything. I'll warn everything. <laughs> Bye. Ah, uh, the Hello, school Black again. Now. Good luck, seniors. Have fun. Who's writing? I can hear scribbles. Ah, oh, there he is. Elliot? Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. Who exactly is talking shit about me? You know, haters on social media. Them dang Great. haters! I wish I could tell everyone to just get a life. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? Hell yeah. I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. But sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. All right. See you in chem. Yeah, for sure. Bye! Alrighty. I'll down stuff to pick up my DVD. Drugs. I've still got time before class. They will mess you up. Oh, what's up, Steph? Hey, I'm at the picnic tables with Mikey. Thanks. On my way. Is that you? Is that you picnic tables with Mikey? 
Ah, that's what's on my hand. It's my objective. Get DVD from Steph. I'm gonna do it. Steph and Mikey, what's up? Are you guys playing D&D? If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. Who wouldn't understand? Yeah, nerd. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD? <laughs> One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Oh. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? What's happening? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Can I actually play some D&D? &D? Hell yeah! What the hell. Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. Nice, nice. <laughs> are you insulting me in some obscure nerd way? Think about it. An elf? Like, skinny and kind of weird, but also a barbarian, so, like, really angry. In other words, Chloe Price. Hell wow. yes. You two are a riot. All right, let's get started. You are both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. Cool story, bro. I raise my staff to you and greeting. Hello. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Averno. Yeah, look how badass I am. your character. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh... Uh... Calamas... Calamastia. Calamastia. Super into it. Nice. nice. The two heroes... Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says... I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscar. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? Uh, I got some sick Blade Runner DVD. I once made a man kebab. According to my character sheet... No, man kebab, commit. I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him too. True story. <laughs> you stand at a three-way crossing. I think I love you. To your left, the raider's training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Mm. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Yeah. Where do you wish to go? I kind of want to go to the training ground. That one. Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving <laughs> at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set. Ah, shit. Who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field. All of whom raise their weapons and charge. Fuck. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! 
You conjure up a wave of acid all? that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Nice. Holy shit. Nice. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Got him. Uh, fatal cleave, pummel strike, knees. Fatal cleave. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Yeah! Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. Sure is. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Elamon! Mm. It's all your fault. Don't worry, Elamon guy. We all make mistakes. Elamon, nods. Calamastia, the elf barbarian, is most wise and forgiving. <laughs> What's next? Uh, the prison! Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager. Okay. Calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you. And in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Hmm. Ah, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shit face. Get out of there. <laughs> the dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably... <laughs> spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. What about Alohomora? Oh yeah, let's intimidate him. Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Fuck Listen you! Up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't I cast communication on the dragon king. Nice. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, hey. his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Dragons are pussies. Everybody knows that dragons are pussies. Shit. That's why they hide in caves and only come out to breathe fire on sheep and eat cows and shit. That was a mistake. The dragon can growl, snapping at you and showing his teeth and claws. Shit. Tall one is a fool. Dragons are gods, he says. Damn. Uh. You're short, I say. But you can always get shorter. Give me the key. Or I'll chop off your legs and beat you to death with them. Yeah! No, no, please don't do that. Still, I cannot give key. Durgaron will eat me. I think he's close to breaking. Last one. Uh. I show him my fist. I call this the Ripper because it's really good for reaching down dragonkin throats and ripping out dragonkin stomachs. Fuck him up! Uh, Dragon can cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Here's what's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? Uh, wow. That was nuts. <laughs> I'm give you a plus 10 bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. Thank you, Dungeon Master. A small pool of urine collects <laughs> under the elderly dragonkin as, hands trembling, it hands you the keys. Then it dies of fear. Awesome. Yeah, 
Go team. Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. Dude, how do you just sit here and play D&D all day? The prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? The warlord's tent! Time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well. It's pretty cool. Sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, Whoa. gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's cataclysmic cone of fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast, which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? I have the superpower of Annihilation Strike! <laughs> oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Do it, Mikey. Oh, no. Three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Uh-oh. Um... Legs, plural, severing both feet at the ankles. Ow. This game is awesome. <laughs> feet? Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp, stomp. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Fix it! I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. <laughs> okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. This is Charges, awesome! Thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh, no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Fuck. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. We're even. <laughs> you feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Swing for his head. I take one last swing at Durg, Dur Durface's head. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Oh no. Oh, I roll high. Hmm. 11. You swing catching Durgeron on the side of his head, severing one horn, but you don't do enough damage Shit! to Shit! What an asshole! Should've went for the laughs, arm. Then rips you off his sword with a vicious jerk. You die painfully. So mean. I'm sorry, Chloe. I have to escape. Hey, man. If you can, do it. I cast Warden's Hideaway. You sure? It's all I've got. You summon a spectral door, which shields you from Durgeron. Light flares out, blinding him. The door swings shut, then disappears. You are gone from sight and cannot be harmed. I guess I'll have to come back when I'm stronger. That was fun. Should have went for the arm and Check took out, out the brace and then he could have fired. She. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. Also, this is where I missed the time travel aspect of this game because I could have just rewound time and picked a different outcome for this whole game. That would have been awesome. Then I could have won. Sorry I died and left you out there to fend for yourself. It's cool. I'll get him. Eventually. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. 
Dude, that was so much fucking fun! I want to do that in real life. I've always wanted to try out D&D. Check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. But whenever you do D&D stuff, you need like hours to actually do it. I don't know. Someday I'll play some D&D stuff. What the hell? What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that. True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. It's Guess Nathan. Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Yeah. Oh wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back! I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Uh, you're both losers. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. <laughs> you know something? Do something. I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. Uh-oh. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop. Stop it, you guys. guys. Do something. Don't just stand there watching. Why did you do something? Step in. I cuz I like the mini game. That's all that's all it's about. Also, Nathan is the shithead from the first game. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Here we Back fucking off, go. Idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. <laughs> You're seriously <laughs> defending Nathan Prescott? Nathan's an easy target. That's hardly fair. It got me feeling sorry for a Prescott. I don't know! How about picking on someone your own size? Which I hear is pretty small. Ooh. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. Uh... I'm crazy, that's true. You have no idea how crazy I am. Keep pushing and find out. I beat you! You want a piece of this? Hell yeah! Piece of cake. Please. Kicking your ass is going to be a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. <laughs> shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Oh! Coach Shit! Samantha. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? Uh, yeah. You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. Bye. David ended up being the security of the school in the first season. It's weird to see him not here. Ooh, Mom. Glad we talked. Me too. I know you're doing your best. Love you. Oh, Chloe, reply! Tell her you love her too! God damn it. Hi. Oh, good. You're here. What happened? Where'd I go? I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. 
indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Even she's cringing. Many a time, the harmony of their tongues hath I listened to. Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Wow, looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. Oh, God. Uh, the question is... Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? The first what one. Do you think? The first one. Miranda is a stoop. Miranda's an idiot because falling in love is stupid. What is she? 12? Got him. Actually, she's about 15. So your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Cool. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. Does See this say Pepe on the wall? Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Ah. Uh. What? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay. Okay. So, why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Sure? Uh, yeah. Sure. Also, I wish I could do that kind of stuff in okay. school. Uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? Um, like, we did drama stuff and I was in a few plays and things like that, but we didn't actually have classes dedicated to it. Also, yeah, doesn't that say Pepe right there? Is that what it says? Sweet caller, Pepe. Is Pepe something else? And not just the frog meme? It's also weird to see Chloe be in the, the role of trying to impress someone else or being so vocally about impressing someone else because she was always the one that's like, I don't give a fuck. Hey now, sharing is caring. I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. Wait, what's happening? Firewalk, jealous. You look hot, who's the arm candy? Deborah something. Deborah Borgen, I think. So fun. Kisses. Glam. Get it, girl. Who's Deborah Borgen? With Rachel in the picture. What's happening? Ugh, Rach, you're so gorgeous. I hate you. And who's Armand? Dude, that's Chloe Price. Taylor, wasn't Rachel invited to your sleepover last night? I was wondering where she was. Burn. Oh no, I didn't mean it like that. So much fun. This is a really intelligent conversation. Hey, Victoria! We know Victoria. Oh wait, there was more. I have feelings about this. Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? Rachel Amber playing a Prospera, a newcomer to Blackwell Academy. Rachel Amber blew the doors off her audition with a heartbreaking reading of Blanche from Tennessee Williams's A Streetcar Named Desire. Other interests include athletics, debate team, boosters, fundraising, local history, and nature. Rachel hopes to one day grace the stages of Broadway and the silver screen in Hollywood. Nathan Prescott, playing Caliban. 
a favorite son of the oldest and most influential family in Arcadia Bay. Nathan hopes this performance of The Tempest will only further the legacy of the Prescott name at Blackwell Academy. Playing Caliban has been a challenge for the sophomore, who enjoys sports, photography, and casual hangouts with his many friends. Okay, I'm not reading all these, Jesus. Let's get the bell. I wanna see what my girl Rach is up to. Rachel looks so happy here. Okay. Why are we rummaging through her stuff? There's Rachel's belt. I'm coming, dearest! Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. I know there's stuff to like read and look at and everything, but a lot of it is just flavor. Like reading the posters doesn't should be life is drama. Like stuff like that. It doesn't really add to anything. Good luck, June, it says on the mirror. Oh, sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. <laughs> you sure do. Must be a hundred costumes in here. <laughs> Am I the only student? Uh, Sorry. Rachel, is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Um, is she still changing? Oh, no. Uh, oops. Uh, say nothing. No, that's fucking weird. I'm already weird for having come over and not throw it over the top. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, no, I owe you. Uh, <laughs> I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. I'll let you finish changing now. Nice outfit. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. Firewalk was pretty good. I, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But Same. But I thought, why? Why does it have to end? That's, that's deep. Is that a rhetorical question? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Uh, where? Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? That would probably be good, because otherwise people are just going to start asking questions. Yes, please. People won't shut up about it. Hold still. <laughs> touch, touch, touch. This is a lot touch, of touch. makeup. That's the price of valor. Close your eyes. <laughs> All new? Much better. Hey! Holy shit. Let's get the hell out of here. Did you just slap my ass? <laughs> Where are we going, girls? On a little gal pal adventure? I'm also curious to see how this ties back into the first one, because... If you know what happens in the first one, I'm kind of curious how... You sure you don't want to just grab the bus? That event takes no. place. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? Get on. Get on. Hup. 
Atta girl. Where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Hey, I have a friend there. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Ah, shit. Hey, weren't you in camp? Everything okay? Yep. What happened with Drew? People saying you were awesome. Yo, let's talk later. Okay. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Hmm. It is really cool looking out there. Nice. Thanks Jim Bob's a thief. It, it says on the wall. Guess I should sit down. Okay, I know what I'm doing. You don't have to constantly say it out loud. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. It means the game was made in unity. <laughs> All right, Chloe. We're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Yes. Oh, oh, hi! Nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. <laughs> Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? Nice weather! It's nice Rachel we're having. <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, weather. It's nice weather. <laughs> It sure is. <laughs> Nailed it. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name is Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Hmm, yeah. I didn't mention it earlier, but you seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? <laughs> I guess you could say I'm good with people, yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. You will get on this train. Yeah, I'm pretty sure- <laughs> Shit. Pretty sure she already did. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun? Joy rides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. Let's do something fun. Okay. Flirt? You give me the option to flirt, I'm gonna have to. V card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. Well, I don't know. <laughs> okay, something fun. <laughs> I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play hmm. two truths and a lie. Okay. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth. And one of which is a lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Hmm. Sounds fun. Sounds fun. You're on. I never actually played that game, and I don't know what truths and lies I would pick. I think it's pretty clear also, when I'm lying. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway. To which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. Okay. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Seattle. Kathmandu? 
One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. <laughs> What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay, so ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? I think the Leo is the lie, because she... I don't know. See, the New York thing might be just something she wishes was true. I'm going with Leo, because I want the other two to be true. You're way too lucky to be a Leo. You've got to be a Sagittarius or something. The Archer? That'd be cool. Like Artemis. Shit. But I'm afraid I was telling the truth. Shit. Seriously? Hear me roar. <laughs> no. I knew it! New York. You should have picked it! I've never been there. Though I want to one day. I was born in Long Beach. New York's on the bucket list then. Sounds good. Okay. Your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. Mm, truth. I want to be a pirate as a kid. I love science. Does she love science? I know you wanted to be a pirate. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. Arr. Now we lie. I broke my hand punching someone. I'm allergic to cats. I'm in a band. I'm in a band because she looks like she could be in a band. I'm secretly the lead guitarist of an all-girl Misfits cover band called the Misfits. Impressive. And truth. Let's play honestly. Country music makes me throw up, but you listen to it with your dad. I guess they're all actually truths then. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. And I think marijuana yeah. is the missing element. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. There it is! They said it! Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? You do! Thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas, buckle swash, plunder secret treasure. Did I mention my love of booty? <laughs> so, pirate. Obviously true. Okay. Uh, arr. Like you said. Okay, you say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work? Mm. That place is a hellhole filled with shit, where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. <laughs> Tell me how you- really I was just about to say that! Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. You got me. So, let's talk about this lead guitarist business. The business of show. As much as I'd love to be a groovy to your all-girl cover band, the Misfits. I'm gonna have to call lie on that one. You don't think I can rock? You don't think I can rock? On the contrary, you absolutely rock. The problem is, your hand is smooth. No calluses. You don't play guitar. Fuck. Pity too. Got me. You'd look hot on stage. Hell yeah, I would. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. 
Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. <laughs> when your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Mm. Seriously? Now we're getting to it. Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. <laughs> but eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. True that. I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. Hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Yeah. I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit. But I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. You guys are cute! Wouldn't mind listening to some music. What are you gonna listen to? Hey, wanna listen? Oh, that's nice. I wish I could sit in a train like that, though I would be fucking terrified of holding my feet off the edge like that. Hello, bird! Who wants to jam out and rock out and have fun? Okay, thanks, I guess. Full bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out. We're here. What? Where? Where is here? Jump and find out. Oh, jeez. Did you say jump? Jump. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck it. Fuck it. Ah! <laughs> Where's here exactly? Did we get to the secret military base? Are we gonna rob jets? Oh, maybe it's like the junkyard area. No. This is nice. Wait. Is this where I think it is? Isn't this where you go with Max? Maybe not. I thought this is the place where you see like the tornado and you can see look down at Arcadia Bay and everything. I think it might be. Although I thought there was a lighthouse at the top of that area. Actually, a pretty nice view. Okay, Glad it's not the same. Approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one. Truth or dare? Like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. Hmm. 
So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. Why can't they just be the same? This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we've got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. I got my finger caught in one of those when I was younger. <laughs> like the, the cogs on the side of it, my finger got caught in one of them and it locked in place because there was no money and we had to get somebody to help and put money into it so it could release and my finger could come out. That blows. It hurt. Well, shit. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh, yeah? Let's see what you got. What? Mikey! Sorry about Drew. Not your fault. My brother's not always an asshole. Ah, they're brothers. Just most of the time? Forget it. Rachel That's sad. really wants to use this viewfinder. Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. Oh. Pry it open? Fuck shit up. What do we need? Time to Griffith Graffitas Everything that I see. An axe or a sextant? Sextant. It's fitting. Oh, the fucking marker sound. Isn't that the thing he has in his hand? Stop sextanting the interns. Ha <laughs> ha. That works. Where's the right tool that I need? Can I go back and get I don't David? Head down there just yet. Okay. At least I know it's not down there. Rachel, don't fall off! Okay. Bench. Squirrels! I'm gonna look at them. I guess nature doesn't quite provide. I'm not gonna fucking scare them. If Max were here, she'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it Innocence Lost or some shit. <laughs> I wonder if I could use this to get the quarter out. In honor of Martin Lewis Prescott, Arcadia Bay's greatest son. No, I can't because I can't. I can only look at it. Yuck. Cliche much, AW and OL. A wall. Together, they're absent without leave. I've been saying sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. You've been on me for three hours. Sorry, dude. Hey, spare some change? Sorry, we might have some leftover food when we're done. What? No, I'm not... What kind of food? <laughs> this place has really gone downhill. Shh. She's right there. I'm not homeless. I just need money for the binoculars and I like food. Where the hell am I getting this thing? Whoa, that's badass. Yep, it's official. I'm learning way more ditching school than I ever do in class. A Salishan tribe totem pole. The raven stands for transformation. Its grinning face betrays its trickster spirit. The raven has many ancient stories among the Salishan and the other native peoples. Some say the raven helped create the first man. The raven is to be respected. Never trusted. Good to know. What's worse than groveling for change? Groveling for change and failing. My hierarchy of needs goes pot, then beer, then wine. Still, wino has a classy ring to it. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Let's just sit for a while then, I guess. 
Stay a while and listen. Just a day in the park with Rachel Amber. Sure is. Can I steal the sextant? Dwight Mueller really killed it with this statue of an explorer guy. Where are all my explorer ladies at, though? Probably at home, washing laundry. The lonely oak looks lonely. Guess even trees have outcasts. Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? That might work. I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. I thought I had to find something around the environment, not off her. Ooh, Victoria. Chloe Price. I heard some fucked up shit from Nathan about you. Who do you think you are? He doesn't need you, you dumb fuck up. Go back to your trailer. By the way, Rachel Amber obviously played you last night. You'd be lucky if she ever talks to you again. Oh shit, why didn't I see that? I'm so hurt. <laughs> this is just the beginning, bitch. <laughs> oh god, Victoria. Back to her old bullshit again. You know how we love Vicky. Damn it. It always looks so easy in the movies. Wonder if I can find something sturdier to use. Ah, so I wasn't supposed to use this. Ah, get the nail file and use that to unscrew. Ah, that makes sense. There we go. Hey! That's Rachel's, pick it up. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> and a nail file. Hey, heads up, Wells is on the warpath. Oh no! Seriously. Just trying to help. Yeah, right, you killed me this morning. That's what the GM does! Also, thanks for playing with us. Mikey had a blast. He's cool. He's been down lately, not sure why, but I know playing with you really mean meant a lot. See, D&D &D brings people together. Don't worry, Rach! I got this! First got power, activate. <laughs> activate. There we go. Don't let it break on my hand and kill me. Ta-da! I don't want to boast, so I'll let you do it for me. <laughs> Chloe Price, you are truly the viewfinder whisperer. I stand in awe of your powers. Thank you, thank you. So what are we doing exactly? Are we looking at that lady down by the tree? like Jasmine? Is she smelling me right now too? Really should have showered this morning. <laughs> All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it. Ah. I do that in my head during like every class. See, you're a natural. Let's give it a try. Okay. Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God. You just have the best ideas. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hmm. What's going on with these two? Uh, child sacrifice. And the Lord saideth, Thou shalt make a burnt offering of your firstborn son. Who are you talking to, Dad? No one, son. Now, lean into the grill and see if the fire started. Further. <laughs> Further. <laughs> wow. That was dark. Too dark. Perfect dark. Darkness like my soul, hard on fire. <laughs> Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? 
super wedgie or stay away, bees. Wedgie. No matter how fast I go, I'll never outwalk this wedgie. That's so tragic, but also beautiful in its own way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having fun. Sweet beanie. What do you suppose she's thinking? Uh, nature's Wi-Fi sucks are looking at pictures of nature. I wanted to go for more like, hmm, I hope Teddy really writes me back. Nature's Wi-Fi sucks. Maybe there's a squirrel family around here with broadband. If only I can guess their password. We love nuts, 69. Dingoes ate our babies, 13. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Who's next? Wait, something's actually going on down here. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Ooh, jackpot. Commence makeout session. It's gonna be someone she knows, Three, isn't it? Like a parent. Two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Uh, it's clear that it's like someone in her family or something like that. Wait, you're a prostitute? But I'm a prostitute. Now who gets paid? <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Rachel? Hey, are you all right? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. Uh, hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent how to party? Be my guest. How gracious of you. They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead. No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody. Right? And... Fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. Alright. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Maybe that's why she's acting out, because her parents' marriage or something is rocky. Um, can we help you? <sighs> oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit. Talk about committing to a performance. Better act There it is. Time to snatch and run. What do we do? Should we- Go, go, go. Oh, thank God. Please, this, uh, please I wasn't trouble. doing anything. Go get help. I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. What are you waiting for? Go! Uh, we don't have to wait long. Who's the one waiting? Don't look at me. Look at Baywatch over here. Uh, I don't remember how to do CPR. What? <laughs> it's time to nut up or shut up. Jesus. Watch out. I'm going to check her pulse. That's on her neck, right? I still think you should go get help. There's a ranger station on the other side of the park. Good point. We'll keep watch while you go. Uh, no. Watch out for rabies. Watch her die. Uh, uh look at all the time we've wasted already. This woman needs mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Stat. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Yep. Definitely needs mouth-to-mouth. Okay, okay, you can do this. <laughs> I can't do it. Pathetic. Look, he's clearly useless. This woman needs help from someone who actually knows what they're doing. Mm. Unlock your potential. Hey, look at me. Do you want to be locked out of the car of life forever? 
Or are you ready to break in there break and in! seize the keys to your potential? Oh my god. You're right. Do it, man. Hey, wow. <laughs> all better now. You saved my life from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Yeah. Good work, everyone. Peace out. Peace, one love. That was incredible. You're a hero. Huh. I guess I am. <laughs> Own it, dude. Is it red wine, though? Yeah, gross. I mean, I love red you, wine. You earned this. But not fucking guzzling it. Thanks. <laughs> I could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. Man, trying to down any wine is hardcore. She'll I fuck you up. I'm excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. Heart on fire, soul of darkness in my ad. Sorry, it's stuck in my head now to be like that. <laughs> this is a long episode, man. I'm here for like two hours. I'm into it. Ah, is this the train track we were on in season one? I keep saying that like this is season two, but it's not. This is season 0 0.5. Oh. Whoa. Hey, check this out. What? There it is. Pile of trash. Uh, yeah, an awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? I've heard that actors are moody, but wow, Rachel. I'm not moody. I just need some space. Is that all right with you? Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. Let's get to the heart of this. No. I don't understand. You can't just turn on me for no reason. I'm sorry, turn on you? I guess I forgot. It's always about how you feel, isn't it? Sad Chloe's fucking sad again. Maybe you should try giving a shit about other people for once. Are you serious right now? Fuck! Ugh. Uh... Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but... Apparently, she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. Some smash shit up. Score. Starts beating the shit out of Rachel with it. <laughs> Here. If you really want to smash something, this should do the trick. I 
asked you to leave me alone. Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all, with the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all that. That was her dad, wasn't Victoria it? Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass, but seriously, fuck you. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait! Don't go! Why not? Because... Because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this, exactly? Wait, I actually get to choose? Oh, God! Something more? I don't know! I mean, it is a friendship, but it felt like something more than that a little while ago. I mean... Fuck. Are you actually going to make me say it? Say what? Exactly. You know... Like, a friendship, but more. A best friendship. Ah. Uh, I know. Weird, right? It's just, today was the best day I've had since, since my dad died. And when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize Whatever's going on between us is special. Come on, say something. Chloe, I... I... You know what? Forget it. This was really stupid. I mean, you're Rachel Amber, and I'm Chloe Price. It's not that. It's just hard right now. And I can't talk about it. Why not? Because I can't. I know it isn't fair, but it's how it is. Goodbye, Chloe. Well, that sucks. Fuck this place. Do I actually get to destroy shit? Yeah. <laughs> All the options were smash. 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 Smash! You know she's fake, yet you can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? Yeah. Fuck off, Rachel. Yeah. I've never understood your hard on for cameras, Max. You take a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Fuck cameras. Your school call, I think you know why. We have a meeting tomorrow with Principal Wells. I need you to do better. Chloe, I'm worried about you. Please let me know you're okay. Rip a family apart from the inside. It's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David.
Dad. Oh, shit. No. Chloe. Well, back in the dreamland we go. Crying, sweetheart. Oh, Jesus. Because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. Switch to David. What is going on? What's past is prologue and shit. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. Hey, where's my marker? Oh, all the shit that we had was in the car now. I guess I did that. Gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> she nearly took your head off. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. Oh. There it is. Sometimes, people need you, though. Even when they don't admit it. Oh, f what the fuck? <laughs> Hard on fire! <laughs> it actually came true! Rachel!
bird. You're flying, sir. Hmm. A lot of weird shit going on, I must say. You came. I'm glad. She crying. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh. All right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. The worst part is... <laughs> I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. <laughs> So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I thought I could catch him or something. That's why she brought us out here. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't... I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed? It's silly. I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was gonna die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and Aww. He was just so strong, you know, I, I felt safe. You trusted him? Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. Hey, we were both kind of the queen of <laughs> shitty. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome. And you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too. And I treated you like shit. Courage? I don't know if I'd call it that. Or like blind desperation. And maybe a slight buzz from that wine. I just want you to know... I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? You dropped that one guy with a bottle to the face. Oh yeah, yeah I did. Because you showed up at the last minute, and... What about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan? 
you got right in his face and called him out. That was pretty sweet, actually. <laughs> See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... Fuck your dad. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. Can I borrow your lighter? Thank you. That's not good. Jesus, man. That's a pretty big fire! That's her dad. What? She seemed like she knew something. Ooh. 
I don't know, man. Jeez, that was a long episode. If you've stuck with it this far, you're a fucking trooper. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's gonna be anything afterwards. I don't think so. Okay. Okay, 62% of people attacked the dude. Hell yeah, we did. Uh, 62% of you, same again, were kind to Joyce. Of course, her poor little mom. You defended Nathan, of course. And 74% of you told Rachel you were more than just friends. See, I was in the majority of people with this stuff. Oh lord. You took the money, 54% of people didn't take the money. 46% of people took the money! You've no morals! You purchased pot from Frank, you didn't purchase pot from Frank. Ah, if you took the money then you could purchase it, so that's interesting. You read Joyce's self-help book. Uh, you didn't read Joyce's self-help book. I didn't, where was her self-help book? Put the photo of William on the dresser. Yeah, a lot of people did that. You didn't slip money into Joyce's purse. See, these all have a trickle-down effect. About you, if you didn't take the money, then obviously a weighted percentage of people up here aren't gonna do a thing. And then the percentages are all messed up because a lot of people are like, I didn't even know I could do that. Like me, I didn't even know there was a self-help book that I could have read. Told Elliot you would play, you would go to the play with him, 74%. You didn't listen to Skip's demo. I, he had like a, a mixtape. You told Skip his demo was just okay. Only 1% of people. I bet half the people didn't even, well, half the people. I actually have statistics to prove, not half. But I didn't even know that was a thing. You finished the tabletop minigame with Steph. Yeah, 78% of people. You sabotaged Victoria's home. Oh, I didn't even know I could meet up with her. Shit. I guess I should have explored around a bit more. Told Rachel you believe in love. You told Rachel falling in love is stupid. Shared earbuds with Rachel, of course. Seems like a, a nice thing to do. You jumped out of the train. What would happen if I didn't? Oh shit, next time. Me. I want my fucking money! But I didn't steal your money! Okay. Next episode, Brave New World. The next episode coming soon. Play collector mode and complete all of the graffiti collection. Nah, uh, no thanks. Episode menu, please. Brave New World and Hell is Empty. Ah, oh, the menu changes afterwards. That's cool. Okay! Well, that is the first episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. Not quite sure how I feel about it. Some parts of it were fun to be back in this world and to be back with these characters and to be hanging out with them. But because the characters are all changed, like it's before Chloe was the Chloe we knew and her voice actor and all that is kind of changed. It's just a little strange and our Rachel isn't really what... I thought she was gonna be, which is fine. Um, but just the pacing and the writing of everything felt a little crummy. It felt a little off, it felt weird. And I know, as I said before, Life is Strange always kinda had these kinda self-aware hella, hella cool moments. And it was kinda cringy, but it was also kind of like in on the joke. This time it didn't really feel like it was in on the joke. That or it kind of went overboard with it. So, and then again, the writing has always been a little lacking. But this one, you can definitely tell, it was a little less. Um, and I, I really missed the powers, although it seemed like Rachel had a power at the end. She was screaming and whooshes of air were coming after her. But I just, I missed the time powers. They were super fun. And they had a lot of cool consequences to things. Now it's, it's kind of just a, a paint by numbers like episodic choice based game. Whereas the original Life is Strange had that little quirk that made it more unique than that. That it had those choices, but it had the butterfly effect of stuff as well. Now you just have this back talk minigame, which in itself is fun to do, but it didn't fail any of them. And it didn't really like add to anything. I don't know. It's good and it was fun to play. It's just, it's not quite up to the same bar as the original series. Then again, it's only been one episode, so I don't know. The episode by episode, the original Life is Strange had some ups and downs as well. Um, this was way longer than I thought it was going to be. Sorry, I, I I always wonder about splitting these types of episodes up. Now that I'm talking about it, it'll be weird if I do or don't, either way now. But, I don't know, it's two and a half hours, that's a lot to watch for some people. I know some people like to watch it all in one go, so... I'm not sure. 
Um, but I guess we'll find out when the video is actually uploaded, so talking about it is actually pointless. Uh, let me know what you guys thought. I like the little interactions between Rachel and Chloe. And they kind of have a bonding factor over their dads, and there's some interesting character traits there. And the, the soundtrack is still really nice, I love that. Um, I don't know, a bit different than I was expecting it to be. And you definitely do miss the, the time travel powers. Even though a lot of people would say that it was kind of inconsequential with the time travel powers in the first game, but it just added this nice, weird, kind of supernatural element to it, and the fact that there was a giant tornado coming to rip apart Arcadia Bay, and you had the power to go back and stop, and it just added all this weirdness to things, and it added for a lot of sometimes pointless drama with Chloe's legs being broken because she was in the car crash, and then it just got retconned in the next episode anyway, but still. Okay, sorry about that, there was a jump cut there because my, <laughs> my SD card got filled up. 64 gigs of face cam file. I'll tell you how long this episode was. <laughs> anyway, as I said, let me know what you guys thought of this episode. A lot of you have probably seen it anyway because I was late to uploading this one, but I'm excited for the next one. It's probably going to be a couple of months. I don't know how long they're planning on uploading like between each other or updating the game and having the next episode, but I I'm definitely curious to see how the story goes and I I'm, I'm glad to be back in this world. Because I missed it. The first series has a special place in my heart. It was a very fun series to upload onto the channel, so I like it a lot. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face like a boss! And I pays on road. Whoosh, whoosh. But thank you guys, and we'll see all you dudes in the next video! Man, first episode to record back after being gone for a convention? What do I do? Record a two and a half hour episode.